Today is August 6th, 2022, and there's been a lot of news lately about space debris. But what exactly is space debris, and why is it a big deal? Space debris, sometimes referred to as space junk, are man-made objects orbiting the Earth that are no longer functional. Space debris varies significantly in size and includes non-functional spacecraft, mission-related items, fragmentation pieces, and items as small as microscopic paint chips. Space debris is found in both low and higher Earth orbit, including geostationary orbit. Space debris first began to accumulate in Earth's orbit with the launch of the first artificial satellite in 1957. Since then, the amount of space debris has increased steadily over the years and is anticipated to continue to grow. Currently, the U.S. Space Surveillance Network, which is operated by U.S. Space Force, detects, tracks, catalogs, and identifies space debris. Tracking is done through tools such as radar and optical detectors. More than 27,000 pieces of space debris are tracked by the Space Surveillance Network, which includes over 4,000 operational satellites. However, there are many more pieces that aren't able to be tracked. It's estimated that there are half a million pieces of debris, one centimeter or larger, and around 100 million pieces around one millimeter or larger. There are even smaller pieces of space debris, such as flecks of paint or solid rocket exhaust particles. So why does this matter? Space debris travels at high speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour. That means that even the smallest pieces of debris cause a risk to space vehicles, both crewed and uncrewed. While collisions with larger pieces of debris are an obvious hazard to spacecraft, tiny pieces of debris can have a significant impact, especially for objects that do not have ballistic shields. Since the threat of space debris will continue to make it dangerous for both crewed and uncrewed spacecraft to move through Earth's orbit, there's been some efforts to try to mitigate the risk. First, there are ways that spacecraft are protected from space debris. For example, the ISS has debris shields to protect it from debris smaller than one centimeter. Additionally, the NASA Orbital Debris Program Office has developed something known as DRAGONS, which is the Debris Resistive Acoustic Grid Orbital NASA Navy Sensor. This is a sensor mounted on the ISS that monitors impacts caused by small space debris over time to help improve safety and improve the estimate of very small space debris. Space debris is a communal problem for all countries in space, but there is no international treaty to limit the creation of space debris. However, the ISO has issued a set of standards for its mitigation. One strategy space agencies have taken is saving fuel so that a satellite can exit orbit or move to a higher graveyard orbit at the end of its life. There are also ideas on how to remove existing space debris. For example, NASA and British satellites have launched to test ways to remove space debris, such as with a net or harpoon. This is a problem that needs to be solved if humans hope to continue to journey through Earth's orbit. It will be interesting to see what kind of innovations will be developed to achieve a solution to these complex problems. Thanks for checking out my channel. Please like and subscribe.